Rondo. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for tuning in. This is a Dollar Tree uh, Halloween pretty much everything haul. Um, I I went in there looking for some Christmas things that I had seen someone else haul. They didn't have any of the ones that I saw. So I only bought, I don't think I bought any Christmas things. Maybe some bells or something, but I'm not going to even worry about hunting for those. Oh, I did buy some... Um, decorative tape or not decorative tape but uh deco uh what's it called decorative mesh i'll get it out i bought uh red and i bought a uh, silver uh, and i bought two of each of those but that's really and then these bells and that's the only christmas stuff that i bought this time i'm hoping that they had a bunch of boxes there so i'm hoping that they'll get their their christmas stuff out and i can go back um earlier early next week and see about getting it now, I have gotten this before, and this is the little skeleton. If you can really see him, let me <clears throat> lay him down. He's a little hooked up skeleton. And uh, I've had a bunch of people go, oh, I want one of those. So I grabbed a couple of those to give away to um, different friends and what have you. Then the next thing I found were these uh, boards, and they're Living Dead Restaurant Creepy Cuisine, Alarming Appetizer, Beastly Beverages, eerie entrees and deadly desserts and this is that plywood board so i grabbed one in purple and then they had um this one with the crow on it the lucky raven cafe with a uh, batwing biscotti lucky raven latte creepy cappuccino and gangrene tea moonrise into midnight friday the 13th and my daughter's getting married on friday the 13th so i thought these would be perfect for that so i grabbed those move those out of the way here <clears throat> Then next I found these gloves, and they say, eek, and they glow in the dark. So for a dollar, I figured I'd give them a try. Those are really cute. Uh, I got some of the uh, webbing. I'm going to make me an apothecary, and I'm, I'm going to show that on my channel, how to make those, and some of the ones that I've had from years before, and show you how I'm going to do that. So that's coming up. I'm going to use that for that, and I'm going to use this creepy cloth, and I got it in black. And I also have some left over that's kind of a gray-black color from last year that I'm going to use. Then I looked in some more of the Halloween things, and they had these cute little garland skeletons. Now, I've gotten some of these before, but this year I'm going to do a little DIY with them and make them into little fairy skeletons. So... I got these butterfly wings to use as my um, skeleton wings. And I got them in yellow, red, and then I got these bigger blue ones. So that'll be a little DIY coming up pretty soon on the channel. So keep your eye out for that. Uh, when I'm at the Dollar Tree, I always get more Mod Podge. It's cheaper there. Even though it's a two fluid ounce bottle, it's still cheaper than the ones at Michael's for the five ounce bottle. So I grabbed those. Then they had these cool, creepy, creepy cool crows. So I got a couple of those to you in another DIY. And uh, my daughter's getting married and she's having a Halloween theme. So everything Halloween is going to be perfect for her and for the holiday. Then they had this little, it moves when it's in the sun and their little heads wiggle. It's really cute. So I grabbed that. I grabbed some of these paper straws in these bright green, orange, and black colors. So I grabbed two of those to share with friends. Um, they had some new stickers I hadn't seen before. So I grabbed two of these with the little cool creepy eyes. Uh, let's see. Then they had this one with the little skeletons and the little mummies. And look at the little potions. So cute. So I grabbed two of those. And then they had this one with the googly-eyed monster, so um, they only had one, so I grabbed it. So that's that. Then they had some wash, not Halloween-related. Uh, they got the blue stripe. I got the little houses. It's really cute. I had never seen this one before with the uh, blue roses. Really pretty. Uh, they had this green with the dots and the chevron. Then just a matching one with the chevron. This one is full Florida leaves, is that what it's called? I don't know. Kind of just a French design. I got another one of those blue ones, apparently. This one is the same as the other one, even though it looks a little different. I got a green stripe. That would be good for Christmas. And I got a blue, it's kind of a 
periwinkle blue uh, dot. Dotted, dotted, dotted. Then they had these. Now I have these in like a green and blue, but I thought this pink was really pretty. So I grabbed those. They're blank on the inside, but those are really good for lots of different things. Then I went over into the cupcake section and found all of these different cupcake kits. And they have five different ones. And look how cute they are. Like that one's little pumpkins with faces. That one's just bright colors. Then you got the candy corn. This one's adorable with trick or treat and little monsters. And then the ghost. So I got one of each of those to share with friends and and use for Halloween. So move those over there. Then I got some napkins. They had these, wishing you a haunting night. They had these with the monsters. These I'm going to put on my bar for spider cider. I'm going to make some cider for Halloween. And then this one is trick or treat. So I got one of each of those. Then I grabbed these plates with the haunted house on it. And then I thought this one was really cool with a spooky trick-or-treat on it. So I grabbed that. Then I had seen someone, and I'm not sure who it was, had taken these plastic things from the Dollar Tree and made a double stand. And so I need that for um, my daughter's wedding. So these have little spiders all over, which is kind of creepy and cool. And then these are just little metal cups that I found there for a dollar. So I grabbed those. Then, lastly, in the Halloween section, they had all of these different Halloween treat bags. And look how cute all of these are. Never too much candy. Never ever. So I got one of each one they had, and these have 15 bags in them each. But these would be great in a journal, great as gifts, uh, put candies in, what have you. So I grabbed those. And then I grabbed two of these table uh, covers, and they just have that little design. I'm not sure that's really picking up. Uh, this little hoots just go around on the outside, and the rest of it's purple with some, that's kind of chevron -y or whatever you want to call that. Oh, I also got um, a couple of these. I have I had bought a whole bunch of fall stuff to make my fall decorations, so I'm going to do that, and that'll be a DIY on the channel. And then I bought two of these rings to also do another DIY on the channel. So y'all be keeping an eye out for that. And then the very last things I got were some um, floral things to try to use with those. So I bought several of these, get that one out of the way, of these red berries. Then I bought these orange berries. And here's some more of the red berries. And then they had these pretty, pretty, pretty silver, well, if I can get them to work, silver little twigs. So I got all that they had because this year I think my Christmas is going to be rose gold, silver, and pink. <coughs> Much to my husband's horror probably, but that's what it's going to be. He just have to get used to it. So that is my haul. Thank you all for watching. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up. Sub subscribe. I'll get that out. Uh, if you want to see when my video first comes out, there's a little bell. Click on that and it'll notify you every time I put up a video. See you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.